Angelo made pizza yola today. Hey, faithful followers. I'm uh, going to show you some of the things that I've come up with in a challenging environment. What to do to rebuild your health up. One of the things that we're doing is we're using food that you peel. I was talking to a fellow that's uh, been through a, a financial crash scenario. One of the things that goes bad is the water supply. So just take our experiences here in an endemic area as a kind of a, like what what you would have to deal with if you're in a you know if you're in a country like a Western country, North America, Europe and things were to suddenly change. There was some kind of an economic collapse and the water supply became, you know, dirty or not usable for one reason or another, as uh, these kinds of things usually uh, do happen uh, in scenarios where there's a financial collapse or any other kind of collapse. So, I mean, there's a lot to learn from it. As I say, it can make you stronger. So here's what I'm doing, okay? There's not a whole lot of things you can peel and that qualify as a vegetable so far that you can peel. There's plenty of fruit you can peel, but, uh, the kind of vitamins and enzymes I need to get from uh, vegetables. So anyhow, long story short, here's what I'm doing. I've got an avocado here. And rather than just sit around eating a plain avocado, which, you know, you can do, but you're going to get tired of that. I would get tired of that really quick. You've seen on some of the other videos where I made chocolate mousse and chocolate brownies and such from all natural ingredients. Well, you can take that, those very same recipes, go one step further and make a personal a batch other than a say a dessert batch or festivity batch just more like a snack batch let's just call it that so you want to have a snack right and instead of having a peanut butter sandwich with had which has absolutely no raw food value, because this is an issue for those of us that don't want to delegate the responsibility of our health. I'm going to match this up for a minute. I uh, more than once lived on properties that actually had avocado trees. That would be a real blessing because then it's something you can just peel, whether you end up in an endemic area or a hit the fan scenario or some sort of collapse. We're going to turn our everyday avocado into a healthy, palatable snack. I'm going to go easy on the honey. I don't want to overdo it on that. I wish I had the real... Uh, Vitamix, and that's another thing. In the endemic area, or hit the fan, the water situation, you're going to have to, uh, at a very minimal, make sure you get a, some sort of excellent filtering system. What are you I'm just having a little snack. Did you want some? No, I think I'll just let you have it. And you've heard there are finicky cats, and some people just a little bit finickier than others. Whereas I'm just happy to get the avocado. Having lived in the inflationary times of southern Italy in the 60s and 70s, and I don't want to give all the credit to that period because I was a child an early teenager, but at least it exposed me to something and it makes me aware. I 
And then when you start traveling, you realize you get out of the cocoon and the bubble that North Americans are in. Where they think everything's always going to be perfect. But yeah, I used to live in South Texas. That's where I had a avocado tree in the yard. It's kind of strange how much avocados cost here at the store. And I used to go to the uh, sidewalk vendors and get anywhere between four and eight avocados for a dollar. And they don't have as many sidewalk vendors around here. And they don't have normal kinds of avocado. They have the kind that we don't like. So we buy them at the store. And it's amazing how much they cost here. They, uh, they cost almost 60% of the uh, cost in North America, which is, yeah, okay, it's lower, but you would expect them to be lower because, even lower than that, because, well, they grow here.